really look at the scoreboard at the moment. Pods is actually going double positive, 11 for 5, so he's doing some nice thing for his team at the moment. So, so we'll jump and just quickly check the scores for VL. We have Sin City going 10 and 11, by far their standout player. And uh, yeah, we'll stay on board with VL for this round. We have VL Kush pushing into the chickens area, which again, I don't see him pushing much further. He's now making his way to top crate. BTM Looks like he switched up position again. Podge switched up an SMG this round by the looks of it. They're playing three SMG this half. We've got Kush pushing into top crate. He's now pushed further in. He's now making a push into Market Alley with some smoke. We have Kush pushing all the way to flag. Zero's pulled that flag. He's going straight through middle. He's got no cover though. Playing very dangerous. Here we go. Oh, brutal choke. Kush picks kill. up a big kill. Oh, Steve picks up a kill. That's flag carrier. He goes for the flag carrier himself. He picks the kill up. Some nice play there by Steve. Faze picks up the kill in the spawn. He's, he's looking to cut off these team members, but he could be another cap. Yeah. Oh, there we go, Steve. It's nice two nil VT. So uh, they're switching up the tactics again. VL. They don't really seem to have a set game plan at the moment. Sin City is is pulled the flag. Push has pulled the flag. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Pot Noodles pushing around behind him, he's taken down in spawn. Looks like Podge is going to push VL spawn at the moment, he's right behind someone, he's going to try and pick him up as soon as he can. He's taken up from behind though, that's the problem with pushing the spawn. Yeah, we have FaZe sitting in a defensive this time, so FaZe who was, for the most part, being the aggressor in, in the first round for VL, he's, he's now playing defensive. It does look like VL had made a two-man push down the road, Brutal picks up a nice kill there. I'm not really sure where FaZe is trying to get to, he just keeps climbing up and down the wall, like, a very interesting <laughs> tactics. <laughs> but Kush is making a push out on market, so it's in both. Oh, Podge picks up a nice two-piece there. Big kill. He's going to pull his flag, he's going to watch someone in the spawn, no one's there to take him down. He's going to run straight into him here, though, they spawn off. FaZe was just too to far away. away to get that kill, he's trying to get shots and he's got him, nice kill. Faze has rushed all the way from market, he's now making his way back to market, which is an interesting tactic, as opposed to just someone dropping back to him. Faze, I'm not really nice sure what he's doing. Not, I think he was just lying down next to the Kush there, I'm not sure he what was, he was doing. He was taking a little nap in mid-map, I mean, nice. Uh, Sin City pushing down the main road now, he's, he's trying to make his way into fact. They're running smoke still, it's a different tactics you've seen from VL right here. Uh, it's nice, it brings a bit of variety to the gameplay, but... It does look like Podge is going to cut this flag carry off. I get taken out by Kush and I Big kill by Kush. Devo, however, has pulled the VL flag and if Podge can get a return here. Big kill from B Dom. Uh, they've got the flag though, and although V2 seems to pull the flag. Ah, Bru oh, Brutal couldn't pick up Pot Noodle there. There we go. We've got Face sitting in a very strange position. He's sitting in the main road at the very back of their spawn. It looks like with Vaporize, he's just going to stay here with Steve over to protect the flag. Just Brutal and Podgy push it. Oh, Podgy's taken out by Push there and Brutal. There we go, so we have Sin City camping the flag carrier. It looks like they're trying to set up for it, but I'm waiting to, to see any form of VL with like attack on the flag. Put to style, mate, here. VL are three, three flags down, is it? And they need to make a push here to get some flags back. We have FaZe sitting main road, he's getting stunned by heavily by VT. So Brew's gonna cut the one off on road. Podgy picks up a big kill there and pot noodle. Manages to get the flag to turn. That should be 4 0 VT. It's a big, big game from VT this round. So we have Sin City pushing up into the top crate, it's Kush alongside him, Kush pushing into mid map, he's now pushed his way back out into crates alongside Sin City. It's a bit more like it guys, there's a two man push going on. Although, interesting tactics, smoking again, it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me to keep running smokes, they're, they're not really helping them. Stefan doesn't, Vieta, three man down at the moment, Steven just needs to pick up his flag and run, he's just going to stay in the spawn. It's an interesting route. Oh, Steve's running to the whole team here off spawn, that was a bad move by Steve, should have just pulled that flag away. Sin City, he's looking like he's going to make his way into the cap. Apologies, double stun at the moment. Looks like VL with a first flag cap. There we go, yeah, it's 4 1. Cap. So, Prodigy. 
see those last one up here just pushing towards bikes on their spawn. It's a bit too late for me for there any kind of movement from the. Uh... I think they just played too defensive this half. They should have been all out attack to get those flags back. For me, they played very defensive that much. And personally, I, I would have run stuns as well. Oh, compassion. Yeah. Just, just, just to pick up the stun checks when you do get the guy off frame. Take a look at the scoreboards. We've got Steve who's gone 18 for 13, topping the scoreboards for VT. While Sin City's managed to go 17 to 17 for VL. There we go. So, big game by Sin City. Arguably the best player for VL in this game mode. Just he uh, to to went 17 for 17. There we go. So again, Pot Noodle though, he carried his own 13 for 12. Phase on 10 for 6, and Kush getting a little bit, a little bit banged on at the moment for 7 for 15. Yeah, he definitely so, trying to pick up his game for CTF. He's going to help out VL. There we go. So we have every member of VT going positive, bar Brutal who went 13 for 14, but he had six assists though. He he definitely put his shift in trying to get the kills on. Yeah, Brutal, he played well, he was just hovering around mid map. So, Ad, VT picking up the win there against VL. A really strong display by VT. I think it's Charlie, isn't it, that we're, we were watching then? Yeah, it, VT Charlie, I mean, to say they were using three new recruits there to try out the new team for next season, they definitely seem to have a, a nice little sort of chemistry already starting to build between them, so it's a good sign for V2. Definitely, it was a really strong outing against uh, what looked like a, a, a pretty well known to each other clan in, in VL. Obviously the, the first few scrims in uh, WGL, so I, I would assume that just from what I've seen that they're relatively new to 4v4 as well. Yeah, looking at the tactics they were using, it's not something you see every day. I mean, holding SMGs, the holding players using smokes instead of stuns, not really the sort of tactic you'd see in everyday 4v4 gameplay. I completely agree with that. I, I mean, it was interesting. It, I, I'm not sure necessarily they should run it again, but I mean, if, if they if that's how they, they feel they're going to get the wins and more power to them. Um, but who for you was a standout player then in, in those games? For, uh, for me, I would say Brutal had an absolute beast of a couple of games there. I think Prodigy was able to pick up a nice few kills as Slayer for VT. But also Sin City and CTF, both maps he was able to go almost positive. So he looks like he could be a star player for VL and CTF. Definitely. He, he looked very strong. He, he held his own by far. He was the, the most, he grabbed the most kills for VL. He, he looked the most aggressive as well. He, he was constantly rushing spawns and stuff. So could be, but since it is all got some four v four experience, but the others may not. So if he's trying to get his team working into the four v four tactics, it may take some time for him to gel as a team. Definitely. I mean, with practice comes always always improves people. So I mean, it was a, a very fun game to watch. It was an interesting watch for us, but uh, I mean. We'll look forward to the season in hand. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, I'm not really sure what. Definitely sharp. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure yet what what divisions they'll be signed up for and and what. Obviously, I'm hoping to be put in the prem with my team. Take on Adam's team. <laughs> uh, yes, we shall look forward to seeing you in the prem. Definitely, definitely, and we are, as we said, we are look, all fighting for tickets to IG, uh, IG I45, which is the multiplayer. Land that have just partnered up with the WGL itself. So uh, let's sign off briefly, Ad. So this is Jamie Serial 2 signing off, and thank you very much thank for watching. You. See you later, guys. This is VT Mayhem. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon. Peace.